Hello again, Alan Gilbert here with Autodesk. This is part two in the series AutoCAD Civil 3D Tips and Tricks, which was presented at the Fall Florida Users Conference 2015. So for video two, we're going to take a look at uh, an old command called change. And if you, unless you have a long history with AutoCAD, you may not be aware of this command. It's been there uh, since at least uh, release 10 and probably before then. So this is an old object manipulation command, and it does quite a few things that uh, could be beneficial to you. This video, we're going to show a throwback manipulation command called change. So change has to be typed in. It's not in the menu anymore that I know of. Type in change. And this has been around, um, I first encountered it around release 10, but I'm sure it was before that. So I can select an object. Let's just uh, click this guy in the middle. Hit enter and it says specify a change point or I can just pick the properties. So I'm going to type a P for properties. And here's all the things I can change. Color layer, elevation, line style, transparency. Okay, all the settings and the elevation is kind of the, kind of the oddball there. And that's really what I've used this for more than anything uh, back in the old days. If you just type E, I can basically just set the elevation on this polyline. So enter, enter. Now if I select that and go to properties, you can see elevation of 100. So that's kind of a nice feature. And some of these other things you can change. But most of these you would do through layer properties or something now. So again, that's why it's not in the standard menu now. But kind of a, a couple other tricks this command does. This line was drawn orthogonal. Not that it matters, but uh, we're going to get to that in just a second. But I'm just going to type change again. And I'm going to select all the objects. Enter. Now it says specify change point. So I've got ortho snap off. And if I just uh, O snap to the end of that, those will all converge. So if you had non-converging lines, that command could clean them up very quickly. Another interesting thing the command does is it can force orthogonal on some elements when you need some uh, data cleaned up. So I'm going to select all these objects, hit enter. And now before I select the change point, I'm going to just hit F8 to turn ortho on. Now it says specify the change point. So I'm going to select there. These adjacent points move orthogonal and all these are orthogonal. And even the same thing would happen here. I'll move this one off of an orthogonal and we'll do a change. Select objects, enter. And I'm going to type F8, ortho zone. And so now this is basically going to say, okay, which point do I want to change? So if I click here, this is going to move down orthogonal. Everything's going to move with it. This point's going to anchor. So let's do that. And everything goes to orthogonal. So it's kind of an interesting command. It's been around a long time. Just wanted to uh, throw it out there in case you may need it.